get a question come through is that I'd like to simply add a message that includes information put into the form. It would say something like this. You have successfully submitted a property. Your whatever ID is dynamic, and the address you submitted is such and such. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to answer this by uh, using a couple elements. One is Zoho Forms does have the ability. It doesn't have the ability to do a dynamic merge of, uh, let's say, something that was entered in a field and then do a splash message like, thank you, you've entered your data in. Uh, instead, what you can do is you can route it to a uh, specific web address URL and then do something called parameters. So you can append it with parameters and those can be based on the fields. So we're going to do that within forms. Uh, then you would integrate that into your website. So the website would then be able to pull in uh, the information that's in the, the parameters that are up above. We're going to use Zoho Sites, pretty generic, but we're going to use Zoho Sites to illustrate how that's done. And then to be able to do that is we use a little bit of JavaScript. Now, uh, full disclosure, if someone very technical and really has depth in JavaScript sees this, they're probably going to find some fault with how I wrote the JavaScript because uh, it's not one of my strengths. Zoho is, but uh, JavaScript itself is not. Um, weeks ago, I had implemented something similar to this for another client, and so I kind of dove into it for this purpose. But uh, this question coming along, I just couldn't uh, ignore it. So let's go ahead and go over to what it looks like. So in Zoho Forms, I've just created a quick form here, first name, last name, the address information, and then a unique ID. So if I click on unique ID, you can see here I just created a starts from of some generic number. Uh, you could put a prefix, prefix in, you could put a suffix in, but again, these are not dynamic at this time. I know they're updating forms, and I'm hoping that this is something in the future that they'll be able to add. For example, like suffix is having maybe a date or a year or something that shows, and many times you'd be able to do it like this in other systems, but in uh, Zoho it doesn't have it quite yet. So we have that, we have the address. Oops, let's move back around. And then what you do is you set up in settings, you can set up the redirect. So with the redirect, what you do in this redirect to area, is we have a thank you page that we created. So if I go up to the top here for this generic website, we have a thank you page and we have the form page. So the form that we're going to be entering here. Oops. And then what you do is you're going to add, I'll turn, I'll click this little pencil here so you can see it. So we're going to use these parameters I, S, C, S, T, and Z. So I is the unique ID, S is the street address, C is the address city. So I'll drop these down so you can see. These are the fields that are in the form, right? So the address has street address, city, state, postal. What's nice about this is you just basically pull from, again, redirect. You just select from what's in the form. And also what's nice about it, it doesn't just clump them all together, it does separate them out. So street address, city, etc. So we're just assigning, this thing's called a parameter. Uh, and you'll see when we do the form is that it's going to pass it over in the URL up here. So new form, what will happen is once this form is completed, it will go to thank you, and then the thank you will have a question mark. Oh, here it is right here. Thank you, question mark, I equals this. S and S equals this. And so it's in this redirect here. We're going to redirect to a website and then we're going to go to a parent window. And the reason why you do a parent window is if I were to, this gray area here is the form. So it's kind of a Zoho form site within this other site. So if I were to just select same window, it would refresh this whole page again into this little window here so it'll look really odd anyways so uh, the other is new window so once we submit this it could open a new tab right or a new window with that but for just ease of use for the person that's actually entering in the form I figure we'll just do parent so as we do the parent window what will happen is the whole page will refresh and you'll see that URL up here so we'll go ahead and fill this in Mickey Mouse, 123 Main Street. And we'll do Anaheim, 
2802. And so once I submit this, you should see it'll go to a new page. Here's that unique ID. Here's that address that we put in. So the next part is the JavaScript that pulls in this information into this page. So uh, how, how we were able to put these pages together. So the new form info, new info form, this uh, area here is from within the forms. If we go to share, again in forms, you'll see iframe source. All I did is copied this. And if we go into the sites editor and we go to, let's say new info form. So this may be something you'd have a web designer do. Uh, if you happen to have Zoho sites and you're using that, then uh, you could, uh, oh, let me see here, this, uh, I wanna go to pages. We're gonna go to the new info. Uh, and then right here, what we did is we entered a new element and I just put in code snippet. So that's what this section is here. You see snippet will be rendered and then click here to edit. You'll see here's that iframe. So the iframe that's here, I just copied that, pasted it into here and that's how you get uh, the form to show up here. Uh, one adjustment I made is that if you see here, the height of this form that shows up in here was set at 500, and 500 uh, caused it to scroll. So, uh, like if I go here and I change this to 500 where it was, and I publish it, I refresh this, you see how it looks like this. I think it looks ugly. So, what I did is I just extended it. If we go back here, go back into the snippet and I change this to 800 you could change it to whatever you want but I just chose 800 I publish it again I refresh this you can see it fills in the page I mean I could probably take a little bit off like go to 750 or something like that just to clean it up a little bit and then there'll be other videos talking about how to do the form so you can change the background towards just a white background and it kind of blends in here and how you can incorporate it in other pages but for right now just to keep it simple Okay, so that's the form part of it. Info, new form, we don't need that anymore. We're gonna look at the thank you page. So this is where we incorporate that JavaScript. So if I click here to edit the snippet, again, I did the same thing. It's basically just, if I look at element and go to code snippet, all I did is drag this, right, and drop it. I'm not actually gonna do this. Um, so this element that I just put in there, I'm, oh, that's a space, I'm gonna leave that. Okay. So in this snippet, we'll look, take a look, and uh, in the uh, content, the text content in this video, I'll include what this code is. So uh, walking through it, uh, again, I don't know JavaScript all that well, but I just did a copy and paste. This pulls the query variables from the URL, so this up here. It's saying check for all the, the different variables between this ampersand, so the an. So it's saying take the i, take the s, take the c, that's what this part is here. So again, someone that has JavaScript could probably just tear me apart on this one. And then we're building a function. That function then says, okay, look at the I right here. And then this ID is down here. Is a, it's a div ID. So that's what's creating uh, the connection. There's a connection between there and that's ID makes the connection between this ID and that. Uh, and then the variable S so again, if we look up here, S is uh, right here. That's gonna be the street. We're gonna call the element down here, street. You see ID equals street. That's pulling in the street information. Uh, and then the last one was city. So what happened is uh, I didn't like having separate, them look all separate. So I wanted to put them together. So there's uh, concatenate like in you have in, I don't know if you use Excel or not, but you can uh, have like three cells and you can put the information from three cells into one cell kind of put together. That's the idea of concatenation. Uh, so here is a JavaScript, um, I don't know, it's a function or something that's concat. So what I did is I said, okay, take the city, the state, the zip. We take the city, we're replacing um, the plus signs. I don't know. 
see these plus signs right here? So taking the plus signs, this thing right here says replace those plus signs with a space. So that gives us this look. If you notice up here it says one, two, three, plus main, plus street. Uh, it would show a plus between each one of these and that would be ugly. So what this piece does here, this replace, replaces all of those pluses with just a space. So it looks nice. Then uh, what I did is I said, okay, the replace city is Anaheim, right? Uh, and then we say the replace city is Anaheim, and then we're going to put a comma after it. That's what this little is thing is here, the comma, the state, and then we're going to put a space between that and the zip, and that's what ends up creating this look here. And how we got this, uh, the street over the city, state, and zip is uh, by doing two different divs. If you're familiar with HTML, then this is going to make sense. So they're just stacked one on top of another. So here's the street, and then here's the city. The city is the rest of it, the city, state, and zip. And the reason for that is because right here, if you remember the get element by ID, the ID that shows up down below, this right here, I'm taking this, what's called a variable, this with those three things put together, the city, the state, and the zip, I just add that here, that's a variable, and so what it's saying is take that ID down below and just plug in what this is here. That's all that is. So again, I'll copy and paste and have this uh, in the text down below the description. So you'll have this, you can just copy and paste it and use it yourself. But that's kind of the, the basics of how it's put together. So if you wanted to use this as for some other purpose, but what that does is it then takes, again, the final, inf the information that is in the parameters up here and pulls it into the page. This is if you're, maybe you have uh, WordPress or WordPress plugins or something like that, that would allow you to just say, okay, pull from the parameters and put that in there. If you have that, by all means do that because it's way easier than what I just showed you. But if you don't have that capability, like I use Weebly with Zoho sites, it just doesn't have that automatic pull in whatever the parameters are in the URL and pull them in as text. So we had to go about it this way. Anyways, I hope that addresses uh, what we're looking to achieve. Let's see. The question was, I'd like to simply add a message that includes information put into the form. It would say something like this. You have successfully submitted the property, blah, blah, blah. So again, if we go back to what we created here, you fill in the form, the information that's put in here, and you can put any field information and have it carry over to the new web page that you'd have as your thank you page and have that include that information. So hopefully that's helpful um, and we'll catch you on the next one.